Now I'd like to share with you some of my personal tips on how I try to be productive and what are some of the tactics that I use. Firstly, be ruthless with your calendar and theme your day so that you can reserve focus time. So what does it look like for me? For me, I theme my day like I've got one-on-one -on -one day. So Tuesday and Wednesday are my one-on-one -on -one day. And then I've got planning day on Thursday and I also have like growth day so where I think about like the growth of the engineering manager I have in my team so I theme my day so that I can organize my calendar to get some deep work done and also make sure the things that I'm doing require less contact switching and for Friday I leave it to do like some other deep work. So I have at least one day during the week where I could have a block of focus time. Secondly, understand what sparks your creativity and productivity and do more of that regularly. So it could be your daily work time or meditation time or yoga time or any self-care activity time. So this will allow you to feel more energized and re recharged because if you remember from the previous slide, productivity is not about time management. It's about attention and energy management and reserving time and doing what sparks your creativity and productivity often allow you to be more productive. And the next advice that I have might be in contradiction to what we hear often, which is do nothing for a period of time and let your mind wander. So, which means being okay with doing nothing or being still or being bored. Because if you remember, your productivity isn't about being busy. Your brain needs a break. We, like even with cars, we need to stop the car, park the car for a while so that it has got energy and it can have a break. And same with our brains. Researchers have found that if you can try and meditate for a few minutes each day, it does wander to your creativity and problem solving. And those are the two essential skills for a productive engineer. I have to be honest with you, I can't really meditate because I'm not used to it, but the way that I try to like not, not do anything, pro, anything busy or let your mind wander is I like to iron. I find it very therapeutic. So I, I'm just moving my hand, but I'm still not using my brain, which allow me to recharge and give my brain a break. And thirdly, we need to constantly feed our mind and so with new ideas, new way of thinking and new information. So I always recommend people to take some time for learning and development so that we can get better at our craft and guess what? We can also improve on our strength and which will result in us being more efficient and become more productive. And last but not least, don't try to multitask. So Sherry Tucker, who is a psychologist and an MIT professor said that multitasking make efficient use of time, but it doesn't make efficient use of energy or attention. And again, going back to the principle number three, productivity is not about time management, it's attention and energy management.